Well, here we are. We're looking at the Crab Battle Royale King of Crabs. If this game is new to you, I'm sure that sounds pretty random, but would it sound even crazier if I said King of Crabs has been one of my favorite Battle Royale experiences? If you're someone who plays Warzone, PUBG, Apex, or even Fortnite, I need you to hear me out, cause I don't play any of those games. Battle Royales are just normally not my thing. So that makes this review a little different for me. Just like my recent Unfortunate Spacemen review, I'm playing a genre I normally wouldn't play. So what do I like about King of Crabs? How do I have 20 hours on it so far? And why is there even a battle royale about crabs? Well, let's get into it. First, I feel like I should start with the gameplay. It's something you'll notice immediately. You have this third person type of view, and you can see me attacking other crabs and animals cause there's a lot of PvE in this battle royale, which I'm actually very okay with. You see, there's this whole mechanic with eating food and growing bigger. It's pretty simple. The bigger you are, the stronger you are. So I like the strategy of laying low and eating a lot of food before attacking another player. There's a few things to think about when fighting another person. Like I said earlier about growing bigger, you don't want to engage an enemy who is way bigger than you. There's also different items and crates around the map. You want to make sure you have a weapon before attacking someone. The big thing you'll have to worry about is a player's special move. Each crab has their own special move and some are better than others. That actually leads me to my first and biggest negative to this game. It's kinda pay to win. Now don't get me wrong, the base gameplay is still really fun. There's just no lying that there are pay to win elements, like you can pay for skill points and upgrades you'd normally have to grind for. I personally try to play these free to play type of games without spending money to tell you guys if it's worth playing, and I'd say it mostly is. Sometimes you'll see some overpowered legendary crab, and the best thing you can do is avoid them unless you have the best gear. It can be really annoying when things like that happen, but if you play smart, it shouldn't happen too much. I also try to play this game earlier in the day, so I can avoid these tryhards who spend tons of money on this game. Well, I guess I'm not completely innocent. I did spend $1 on this pretty sweet deal, but to be fair, if you want to spend a little bit of money to support this game, that seems like a nice little way of doing it. Now along with this game being pay to win, were you able to guess that this is also a mobile port too? Yep, we're dealing with a pay to win mobile port. Wait, 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 don't click off the video. I know it sounds bad now, but really, I still think the pros outweigh the cons. It doesn't seem like the average player is overpowered or anything. There are just a lot of elements to each fight, and you have to make sure the odds are in your favor. Because this is pay to win, there is an upgrade system that I actually kind of like. You can upgrade each crab's health, attack, and speed. The better the crab, the better the stats. There's rare, epic, and legendary crabs, which sounds funny to say out loud. In almost 20 hours, I have almost every crab, except any of the legendary ones, which are obviously the best. You can get upgrade points that apply to all your crabs which I really like, and you can level up each of your crabs which gives them a stronger start to each game. Now all of these things do kinda lead into the pay to win gameplay, but so far I don't see it being totally abused at the moment, so I like getting all these upgrades and the grind isn't too bad. I like this leveling up system, also considering it's a mobile game, 
I didn't even know it was a mobile port until I read about it. I wasn't able to tell by playing the actual game, but I should have known from the pay to win upgrades and the movement system. But overall, I've been enjoying my time on King of Crabs. I just like the base idea, gameplay, and most of the execution of this game. The biggest thing I'd change is obviously the pay to win parts of the game. I just hate dying to annoying stuff like overpowered enemies, and it can also be annoying when the environment or AI screws you over somehow, like the PvE can whoop your ass sometimes. But like I said, the pros outweigh the cons to me. This game is just fun, I like leveling up my crabs and getting upgrades. There's also motivation to keep playing, because not only do your crabs get stronger as you play, you also get more of the in-game currency as you level up your crabs, so it feels more rewarding to play this game daily along with doing quests. There's also this ranking system that's actually pretty cool. The names of the ranks are pretty awesome and funny too. But yeah guys, I hope you liked this random review. This seemed like an interesting one to put on the channel. I don't normally play battle royales, but I don't think you have to to enjoy this game. I mean, it's not perfect by any means. It can actually be very annoying at times, like when trying to complete certain quests or just getting screwed over. This game is still technically in early access on PC, and I'm pre-recording this video, so hopefully things change for the better, but King of Crabs does many things right, like the progression and motivation considering it's a mobile port, cause I want to keep playing this game, and who knows, you might see a more updated review one day. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment telling me your favorite battle royale cause as of this video, this one's mine. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.